hello on this thursday the tenth day of april two thousand eight i'm kristen volk of the upi news update tibetan spiritual leader the dalai lama says he supports china to host the summer olympics but he insisted today that nobody has the right to tell protesters demanding freedom for tibet to shut up protesters have showed up in cities around the world to show sympathy for tibet Last month, anti-government riots erupted there as Chinese officials have tightly restricted access to Tibet. And Senator Hillary Clinton's campaign is $2.5 million richer today after music legend Elton John played a benefit concert for her last night. John said he's always been a Clinton supporter, believing there's no one more qualified to lead America than her. Seats were filled by fans paying as much as $2,300, which is the limit for an individual's contribution to a federal candidate. The New York senator's husband, former President Clinton, and their daughter Chelsea preceded John on stage. And former convicts will now receive more help from the government after they're released from prison. President Bush signed the Second Chance Act yesterday, which will assist ex-prisoners to find transitional housing, expand job training and placement services, and provide mentoring. Bush says the bill will help those individuals reclaim their lives. And airline officials say aging U.S. planes are crippling the airline industry. The news comes as American Airlines expects to cancel another 900 flights today for safety inspections. That's in addition to the more than 1,000 flights it canceled yesterday for the same reason. Analysts say an aging fleet of planes will drive up carriers' operating costs because those planes tend to be less fuel efficient and require more maintenance. And thanks for watching today's headline and join us tomorrow for more news and updates. Have a good day.